Hishmori Agasagalti Horda, Tasula Gwing Galer, Gwilch of Slan Savalta, Agus Tasula Narda Gwing, Shiv Galer, Deshkent and Sot Arisht, Igalor Shahlor Namara, Tasula Gwing and Ishk, Gaurogan Fishan, Biog Shaliv, Sokruishtach, or Nasher Skull, Agus Bavaling Faltimur, a Hurriv, Nadalti, a Vegatach, the Stachoing, Emlina Hand and Hedor Freshen. Parents and students, we're delighted to be welcoming you back to school to Colosh de Namara, and we hope that this video will help you a little bit to settle back into school. We want to give a special welcome to our new first year students who'll be with us for the first time this September, and we hope that this video will reassure you about some of the protocols that we have in place now to help with our safe return to school. And we're looking forward to a year of excelling together in education and staying safe together. Mila Buechas. Students should only attend school when healthy and free of any symptoms associated with COVID-19. Classwork and homework tasks are updated daily and can be accessed via OneNote from home. Students may enter the building between 8am and 8.20am. Buses will now drop students off at the main entrance where students will enter the building bus by bus in a safe and controlled manner. All other students will enter the school via the doors nearest the main gate. Please be aware that there may be delays for cars entering and leaving the school campus. Students will move directly to their base classroom for roll call at 8.20. Hand sanitizers have been inserted throughout the school and at every classroom entrance. Every morning, the Idiaranga will check that pupils have sufficient wipes for the school day. Students and staff must adhere to social distancing where possible. The entire school now has a one-way system except for two corridors where we all need to walk on the left and keep a safe distance. Classroom doors will remain open and students will enter classrooms one by one. The first student will sit at the desk furthest from the door and the room will fill up as so. Students will wipe down their desk and chair and dispose of the wipes in the bin nearest their seat. For now, only teachers will open and close doors, windows and blinds or turn lights on or off. Students must make sure to have their own stationery and subject specific equipment for all classes as items can no longer be shared. Students will now submit all work via OneNote. This can be in the form of typed work, audio recordings, videos or photos of completed work in their hardbacks. Teacher feedback will be provided in the same way. Students will leave class one by one, beginning with the student nearest the door. Each class group has been assigned a specific area for break and lunch times. The school canteen will be open, but there will be no queuing or daily purchases. Students can now pre-order and pay for their lunch for the week. Their lunch will be packed, labelled and delivered to their designated lunch area. Water fountains are no longer in use. Students will still have limited access to their lockers, but they must adhere to the waiting signs in place. Lockers have been spaced out where possible, but students should only use their locker where absolutely necessary. For PE class, students will go directly to the PE hall for roll call before using the changing rooms in groups of 10. Teachers will advise students on the correct etiquette in rooms where tools and instruments are used. However, where possible, students should bring their own equipment. In home ec, for example, students must bring their own apron and tea towels. Each year group has been assigned their own male and female toilets, where a maximum of two students at a time are permitted. Students should use sinks at opposite ends of the row and leave toilets as quickly as possible after washing their hands correctly. Masks or visors will be worn where required. Students should have two masks with them in school. 
Masks must be cleaned after school every day. There will be no lost and found system in place. Parents and students should ensure that all clothing and equipment is clearly labelled. School visits by parents or guardians are now strictly by appointment only and must be made via the Rooney or Previd. Lunches or PE gear can no longer be dropped to the office. Students will leave the school through the same doors through which they entered. Where a student needs to leave early for an appointment, parents must email the Rooney and Canarablina 24 hours in advance. Er dush bavala mele boyachas a choal leshna dalti agus leshen vorin galair a chaurig an ishan cha a chrahu. We hope that this short video has helped to reassure you about the protocols we have in place for your safe return to school. By now, all families will have received information about the instructions we will all need to follow as a school community in order to keep each other safe. We would ask that you read these carefully and that you discuss them together as a family. Er skal ikke lade varen nedene, og os mille folk derovre glæde og rasjer skal.